If you're into entry-level audio, you probably have heard about HIDS or HIDS. HIDS. This is what it's called, HIDS. At any rate, those are the HIDS AP80 Pro X. This is the original black version and this is the copper version. Mini DAPs. Those are mini digital audio players like MP3 players like the iPod Shuffle or the iPod Nano. They are pretty much the same size as those ones were and the original default black version costs about 200 US dollars while the copper version is about 250 US dollars. Together we'll find out why you'd want the copper or the black version and how each of them sounds like. Hits is a company that knows how to make tiny things. They make dangles, EMs and mini dubs mostly. They did have some ties with Tempotech, who actually made a very powerful mid-range towards high-end dub, but HIDS just stopped at those. Those are extremely portable dubs. The HIDS AP80 Pro X is a very portable, lightweight mini dub. It is a little copper there. It is very portable. It has a volume wheel that acts as a on-off button. It starts pretty quickly. The boot animation is pretty cool and it can play music off a micro SD card. It has a balanced 2.5 mm headphone output and a single head and 3.5 mm headphone output. It has a type -C USB port. It can work as a USB dock and it can output digital data to an external amplifier, although I did not use it in that way. It has three buttons, forward, play, pause, and backward, and you can use the volume wheel to adjust the volume. You can also adjust the volume by touching the screen, but it is not touching, it is usually dragging the volume. So you cannot just touch it where you want, you have to drag it, you can't touch the volume. It has Bluetooth with LDAC, it has two-way Bluetooth, and it has a step counter, and that's about it. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, it doesn't have Tidal, but it can be connected as a Bluetooth DAX, the headphone amplifier, to your smartphone, so it can use both Tidal, Rune, and other apps for your smartphone by being the DAX, the headphone amplifier, for your smartphone. The player is provided by Hibi, so you have access to Hibi's equalizer, or 8-ball mage equalizer. It is very good at recognizing all of my file types, and it is generally a very enjoyable mini DAP. As you can see that size is tiny, so it has a pretty low driving power, mostly good for EMs, not very good for large headphones. I prefer using the AP80 Pro X with MQA files when I have some, but I have very few MQA files, like <laughs> I, I can't even tell you how few I have, because usually my music is just not released in MQA, I listen to pretty obscure stuff, like pretty obscure. One of my favorite bands is named Obscurchis Romancia, so you can imagine it is pretty obscure, they don't release in MQA. <laughs> and that leads me to the thing that I typically use Redbook Flux. AP80 Pro X can decode DSD files, FLAC files up to high resolution files, it can decode MQA, and as you can see I still have the protection glued there. Why do I do that? Because it is full of scratches. To take the beautiful b-rolls and shots you can see in today's video, I took it outdoors and I placed it everywhere. I did not want to scratch it because I usually keep those and I usually like to have them tidy. I don't like to have very scratched and very roughed up units. I like to take care of AP80 Pro X will take care of your ears. It can't go very loud, but it will go loud with EMs. It has a very natural sound. It doesn't have a ton of bottom end. It is a very natural, relaxed kind of sound with a good overall dynamic, a pretty intimate at soundstage, not a ton of space, but it has good instrument separation and it is generally pretty detailed. Especially at 200 US dollars, you can't really find something more detailed. If you spend almost double, you can have more detail. For example, if you purchase the Tempotech V6 or Ibeso DX170, but they are more than double already. So this is a mini dub. It is also very practical if you want to go running, jogging, perfect. Just look at the size. It's so nice and tiny. Then we have the limited edition copper version, which is much heavier. I can already feel the weight. It has the chassis made of copper and some audio files insist that this affects the sonic part of the DAP. To my experience, it doesn't. Especially in this one, the AP80 Pro X sounds the same. The copper version and the normal black version have the same sound is essentially, they don't really have any difference in tuning. The only difference is that this is quite a bit heavier. It will be much easier to dent and damage because copper is much softer. I think I already have some minor dents in it. So no, it was just a bit of dust, but still it, it's very sensitive to usage. But look at this, just it's copper, man. It's so beautiful. I really love the way it looks. It's like, it's beautiful even in person. It's like, this is a beautiful device. But except for aesthetics, there is no reason to go for the copper. Like it doesn't sound any different. It's, it's the same sound, the same ability, the same UI, the same interface, the same CPU, same everything. So they did not want to make an 
separate version from copper. This would be better to stop a bullet if you are living in a rough area, but other than that, it's the same, just a bit heavier and much more beautiful. When deciding if you want to go for either, you should keep in mind both are mini dubs. Both have low driving power, are made for EMs and are not very good at driving full-sized headphones, but both have a very good sound. They are very, very detailed, but they are intimate in the sound stage. They have a good dynamic. They aren't extremely special, but they are really fun to use. They have USB DAC function for your smartphone and for your computer. But I noticed that if you use them as USB DACs for your computer, there is a delay. So you'll hear sound with a bit of delay. This can be heard when playing music or when playing music videos, for example, it's quite noticeable. It's about 100 milliseconds to 150 milliseconds. It will be noticeable if you are looking at lip syncing or at beat driven light effects. And it will affect those who want to play games because in gaming, you hear the sound of a shotgun like almost quarter of a second later and that will throw off your game. If you want to purchase those to use portably, so if you want to take them out, if you want to go for a jog, if you want to just enjoy your life and if you want a travel companion, they are perfect. They play all of my files. I had no problems using them. I found them to be enjoyable. They have the Seb or Mage 8 ball sound effects from Hibi. It works perfectly. I like using that. And the best part is that although they don't have a very strong bottom end and although they don't have a ton of bass, you can actually increase that from Hibis up and it won't degrade the sound. That is the best part. Like they have enough headroom to not degrade the sound with most EMs. You just bring them louder, you turn the pre equalizer or the pre down and it ends up sounding better. Since the two have pretty much the same abilities, I think that the copper would be for those who want to go for the premium, for those who want a more beautiful unit. And the black version will be for those who want something that is just classic, works, is lighter and is better for a mini shuffle duck. For my fingers, one of my finger occupies about half to a quarter of space from the display, which means that I typically use those as shuffle players. I turn on shuffle and I keep pressing forward in a compilation of music. This is how I would recommend you to use them. Both have clicky buttons, which are good to the touch. Both have a volume wheel that turns with very audible clicks. Both have an on off switch on the volume wheel and both are the same. They are the same thing, just different colors. He also had a few of those in the past and I think that those are the best sounding so far. They also are the most versatile so far. They had the AP80, the AP80 Pro. Now we are at the AP80 Pro X and they'll probably keep going with the series because it is a successful series. Pretty much everyone wants an ultra portable music player. Everyone wants something like this. It's like enjoyable. You like having something like this. It is enjoyable to go out, to have a mini dub, to enjoy some music, to go for a run or for a job. So I can understand the appeal. They play local files very well. They work well with Bluetooth. If you are connecting them to your smartphone and they just work. There was nothing that I noticed that doesn't work with them. They never had any kind of weird bugs and such. So I can fully recommend them for your next audio purchase. I hope that your next video will also be from I hope you'll keep watching my videos if you found my content enjoyable. I hope you'll consider subscribing to Audiophile Heaven. Also leave a like on this video and I hope you have the loveliest of weeks out there. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.